How Your Mind Works, Chapter 2, out of The Power of Your Subconscious Mind by Joseph Murphy. I really enjoy this chapter. Actually, he gets into um, some similarities here with Neville Goddard. Not quite as in-depth as Neville Goddard and specific, but his little twist on it is actually pretty informative and pretty easy to understand. I really enjoy this. There are two levels of mind, conscious and subconscious. You think with your rational conscious mind, and whatever you habitually think seeps down into your subconscious mind, which creates according to the nature of your thoughts. Once the subconscious mind accepts an idea, it begins to execute it. Your subconscious does not engage in proving whether your thoughts are good or bad, but responds according to the nature of your thoughts or suggestions. If you consciously assume something is true, even though it may be false, your subconscious will accept it and proceed to bring about results that must necessarily follow. Your subconscious mind is the watchman at the gate. Ooh, I love that. The watchman at the gate. So guys, be careful. The watchman at the gate is your consciousness. Its chief function is to protect your subconscious from false impressions. You now know one of the basic laws of mind. Your subconscious is amenable to suggestion. Wow, I really like that. From infancy on, many of us have been given negative suggestions, not knowing how to thwart them. We unconsciously accept them. Here are some of the negative suggestions you, you can't. You'll never amount to anything. You'll fail. You haven't got a chance. It's no use. It's not what you know, but who you know. You're too old now, and so on. If you look back, you can easily recall how parents, friends, relatives, teachers, and associates contributed to a campaign of negative suggestions. Study the things said to you, and you will discover that much of it was said to you to control you or instill fear in you. Check regularity on the negative suggestions that people make to you today. You do not have to be influenced by destructive suggestion. Never say, I can't. Overcome fear or failure by substituting the following statement. I can do all things through the power of my subconscious mind. I can do all the things through my, the power of my subconscious mind. I can do all the things through my power of my subconscious mind. Never allow others to think for you. Choose your own thoughts and make your own decisions. Always remember that you have the capacity to choose. Choose life, choose love, choose health, choose happiness. Whatever your conscious mind assumes and believes, your subconscious mind accepts and brings to pass. Wow, that was great. Awesome. How Your Mind Works 